Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are going to be testing out an ATC phraseology mod. This is a mod that doesn't necessarily change how ATC says something but changes the words they actually use in the structure. So stick around guys because this is going to be an interesting one. If you are interested in acquiring my Overkill's Cessna Citation Longitude Guide from Microsoft Flight Simulator, consider joining my Patreon site at level tier 2 or above. That's $10 or more, which will give you access to all of the Overkill tutorial guides. Please keep in mind with Patreon, you do not have to subscribe each and every month. Once you subscribe, you will be charged $10. You will have access to all of the guides. And if you wish, you can then cancel the subscription and you will maintain access to Patreon until the first of the following month. So with that in mind, let's talk about what this guide is. This guide gives you a full flight tutorial from Boston to Minneapolis. It also walks you through installing any modifications that I use for this aircraft, a full cockpit tutorial, breaking down how to create your flight plan using SimBrief, which is a free service, and then completing the flight successfully. Um, if there are any questions, you're always welcome to give feedback as joining my Patreon site gives you access to my Discord channel as well, giving you direct access and communication to me. So once again, if you guys are interested, please consider joining the Patreon. It definitely helps support the channel and keeps the content coming. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. All right, so let's make it very clear what we're going to be doing today. So the ATC phraseology mod changes what the ATC says as far as the structure, the words that are used, not necessarily changes the performance of that. So keep, please keep that in mind. We'll see if there's any major differences that we can tell in, in reality, but it's supposed to make the verbiage they use more realistic to real world operation. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take a real simple flight. We're just going to call up ATC using the default version. We're going to do a taxi takeoff and landing literally that fast, come right back around. Um, and then we will load up the mod. I'll show you guys how to install it. And we will then try it out um, with the, uh, the same circuit, same process. We're sitting here in Tucson, Arizona, my hometown. What a better place to test. Um, I, gosh, I hate the ground traffic. Like it, you want to turn life on in the airport and you just can't because of all the BS vehicles. It just really sucks. Anyway, not that I'm complaining, right? That didn't sound like complaining to you. Okay, so let's get after it. There will also be chapters down in the link below, so if you guys wish to skip ahead to the uh, n the new stuff, by all means, feel free. So first, we're just going to contact clearance. I guess we're contacting ground. And let's request a uh, request to remain in the circuit. Tucson ground November 739-24 Cessna information kilo QNH 29-er decimal 9-er 2 VFR circuit training request taxi. November 739-24 taxi to holding point runway 29-er right via taxiway Echo Alpha. Contact Tucson Tower 118 decimal tree upon reaching. Oh wow, that caused some frame rate. I guess I'll leave that on the screen. So give me a second. We'll respond in just a second. I'm trying to make the window a bit smaller. Come on, man. Dude, I hate it when it does this. It is so annoying. It literally will not let me reduce the window size. God, come on, man. So let's see if I can do it from here and do that. And then do that. Nope. That didn't help. That sucks. Okay, well, anyway. Taxi to holding point runway 29er right via taxiway Echo Alpha. Changing to Tucson Tower 118 decimal tree upon reaching November 739er 24. Alright, I'm just pulling up the taxi charts here. And we'll tune tower once we get there. Well, we can tune the tower. We'll just hold off for now. Alright, now let's find out what our taxi route is. She said echo to alpha. She must have meant delta. Because there isn't, I don't even think Tucson has an echo. There's alpha bravo, delta, alpha. And 
And she said, hold short two nine or right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there, there isn't an echo. So, good job, ATC. All right. So, let's get Taxi Don down to the uh, runway. And we'll see how things go. All right. So, here we are coming up to two nine or right. All right, let's hold short. Get the strobe light on, pitot heat on, transponder to VFR. Goes to altitude. And it should have been on and on since I left the taxiway. Oh well. All right, and let's contact ATC. 2SON Tower, November 739 24 at holding point runway 29 or right ready for departure. November 739er, 24 wind 259er, degrees 8 knots, runway 29er, right, cleared for takeoff, left hand circuit. Runway 29er, right, cleared for takeoff, touch and go November 739er, 24. Alright, let's double check the uh, barometer. Yep, Alright. Speed alive. Sixty knots. Fills up. Flaps up. All right. So we're going to look for forty seven hundred feet. Clear to land. I'm not even on the downwind. Runway two nine right clear on to land. November seven three nine two four. Oh, just myself there. wide in the pattern there. That's all right. And a little high. That's one. Did I ever turn my landing lights on? Okay, I did. No, I did not. Hit the wrong one. Shame. Space shuttle approach. Clearly need to work on my circuit work. November seven three nine or two four. 
Contact Tucson ground one two four decimal four. Contact ground on two four decimal four. November three nine or two four. Contact Tucson ground one two four decimal four November seven three nine or two four. Tucson ground November seven three nine or two four runway vacated request taxi. November seven three nine or two four taxi general aviation terminal via taxi way alpha cross runway two nine or right bravo cross runway two nine or left bravo. Taxi to General Aviation Terminal via Taxiway Alpha Cross Runway 29er Right Bravo Cross Runway 29er Left Bravo November 739 or 24. They had me taxi in the other direction. So I'd have to turn the aircraft around. Bravo's on the other side. And 29er left is on the other side. It's a smaller runway. So we got the gist of it. So let's go ahead and get into installing the mod and check out the next section. Okay, so I've downloaded the mod, I extracted it, here's the folder here. Now we're going to run this bat file, and a batch file is just an executable basically, just tells it do x commands. Press any key to select the FS base folder. Now it tells you here these are the default locations, but I have a custom directory. If you put your packages in a custom folder, that's where you're going to go to. So mine is C, custom folders, packages, official, one store, and boom. And we're looking for FS base. Scroll down, I think I went too far, nope, it's just going to be FS, I think there it is, FS base, right, yep, FS hyphen base, okay, hit okay, <laughs> enter your pilot in command name, usually surname, God's gift to aviation, that's awesome, okay, um, let's go ahead and just keep it as, oh, hello, are we typing, let's type, overkill, Let's go okay. By the way, if you have not read this document that comes with it, it is extremely handy. It's a ton of information about proper radio usage, how the radar works, when you should be using your tran different transponder modes. Really awesome document. Highly recommend you guys check this out. Found that today. I was just like, whoa. Ton of information in it, ton of information. All right, so the mod is complete, it's in. Let's go ahead and get back in the sim, give it a shot. All right, so we are back in the simulator and let's go ahead and get things rolling. Back to our ATC menu. Oh, hey, why wouldn't it let me before? That was so frustrating. I wanted to leave it up so everybody could see everything, but I couldn't get a handle on anything. All right, so let's check this out. Let's tune ATIS, or uh, turn ground. We're not going to worry about ATIS today. And again, let's go remain in circuit. Tucson ground, November 739er, 24 Cessna information, Kilo QNH 29er, decimal 87 VFR circuit training request taxi. Hey. November 739er, 24 taxi to holding point runway, 29er right by a taxiway Echo Alpha. Contact Tucson Tower 118 decimal 3 upon reaching. Taxi to holding point runway 29er right via taxiway Echo Alpha. Contact Tucson Tower 118 decimal tree upon reaching November 739er 24. So pretty similar so far. Although it did seem a little bit better in the beginning. The VFR circuit training. I don't recall that being there from last time. But let's go ahead and first turn our transponder on this time. Before we start moving the aircraft. All right, and I'll see you guys at the taxiway, or at the hold short. All right, so we're getting close to our holding short point. Constant thunder. Get a little bit of clouds in the air and you get thunder. Okay, so let's get our transponder set to altitude. 
Those landing lights on, taxi light can come off. Strobe light comes on, pedo heat comes on. Contact tower. And request clearance. Use on tower November 739er 24 at holding point runway 29er right ready for departure. November 739er 24 wind 209er degrees 19er knots runway 29er right cleared for takeoff left hand circuit. Runway 29er right cleared for takeoff touch and go November 739er 24. So, so far I'm not really noticing any difference, I gotta be honest. I was about to say I wonder if these were things that were already sort of fixed in Update 5, but this mod is Sim Update 5 compatible. So, well, I don't know, we'll see. See what happens as we get rolling down the road here. Airspeed alive. Evan used a ton of right rudder here. 55 knots rotating. Oh, baby. Looks like we got a nasty crosswind. Look at that. Looking for 3,500 feet. Call it a full stop. Tucson Tower, November 739er, 24 Cessna, altitude 3,100 feet VFR for landing. November 739er, 24 Tucson Tower. Join left hand, circuit runway, 29er right. UNH, 29er decimal, 9 or 8. Join left hand, downwind runway, 29er right, November 739er, 24. So I was just sort of rereading things there, and uh, yeah, I'm not really noticing a ton of difference. I got to be honest. Um, I'm hoping maybe an IFR flight would be better. So this was made by a real-world pilot, I believe. And again, the purpose of it was to get the phraseology to be as close to real-world as possible. And I'm not saying it doesn't work. I think we notice a little bit of difference there when, uh, you know, like the Cessna altitude 3,100 feet, although he wouldn't say altitude like that, but. Oh no, it's hard to tell. We'll just, uh, we'll finish it down to the landing and see what happens.
Bureau. November 7, train niner, two fall winds, two zero niner, degrees, one niner, knots runway, two niner right, clear to land. Runway two niner right, clear to land, November 7, train niner, two four. Rough on that one. Little rough on that one. I don't know why it is taking me so much. You know what? It tried to take me to the left last time, so let's go that way. It is taking so much right rudder on the ground. So much right rudder, even a taxi. Like I am I have got a ton of it in right now. Look at that. Taxing this way, it was taking a ton of uh, right rudder or left rudder. Well, that's good. They didn't get that last time. Contact oh, yes, Tucson on ground one two four decimal for November seven three nine or two four. Tucson ground November seven three nine or two four runway vacated request taxi. November seven three nine or two four taxi general aviation terminal via taxiway Bravo cross runway two nine or left Bravo. Taxi to General Aviation Terminal via Taxiway Bravo Cross Runway 29er Left Bravo November 739er 24. All right, so that is basically it. Um, I didn't really notice much of a difference. Um, I'm hoping that uh, maybe an IFR flight is a better way to go, but as far as I could tell, the verbiage was the same. But uh, you guys test it out and tell me what you think. Um, try some IFR flights. Maybe you've used it already. Let me know. Oh, we have a marshaller. That's funny. All right. Hmm. Yeah, well, that is it. So anyway, that is our flight today, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the description below. Again, I'd really like to know what your comments are. Maybe I've done something wrong. Um, by all means, please let me know because I was really expecting, uh, hoping, I should say, not expecting, but hoping for something better. Um, and that has nothing to do with the mod. Uh, you know, it's got to be a way that it's interacting with the sim now, or maybe the phraseology change isn't that significant anymore. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I will see you in the next one.